and joining me is none other than Michi So Crazy. Now, look, you may have known him from 4EY. You may have known him as Black China Boo. You know? <laughs> but if you recognize him and you can't quite put your finger on it, you know him from X on the Beach. What's going on, yeah. Michi? What's up? Hi, how are, how are you? you? You're I'm so cool. cute. Thank you. I appreciate it. Likewise, likewise. Thank you. You know you're adorable. Yeah, I know. It's the lights. You got the lights it's going on. Day. My lights and my it's coming through right now. So let's talk about this. Like, um, let's go back to you know why for I mean E for Yeah, why. I know. I heard you like know? myself on the <laughs> Go ahead, you can mess it up. We ain't gotta give them no promo. Go Don't ahead. do that. That's, That's not right. nice. That's not nice. <laughs> but let's go back to you know for EY. Yeah. Okay. You know you're you're a solo artist now. Yeah. You know you got a lot going for you. You know you cut your hair. Yeah. Let's start with that. The appearance. It's like I mean yeah, you, you was cute then, but like it's just I look a little bit more grown now. Yeah, you know? grown and sexy. Was, you yeah, I appreciate it. That's that's the look I was going for. So now so now that I got the approval. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it like this. Yeah, keep it this way. For sure. I, I like this. <laughs> this is cute right here. Okay. Definitely. So like you know you you left the group. Yeah. Because of a lot of management reasons. You, you know you know what I mean. Like we was young when I was in that group and we didn't really handle the business up front. So right. when it came time for a lot of checks and signing deals and stuff, it came, it kind of like slapped us, slapped us in the butt. You know what I mean? So right. It was just time to just start new, start fresh. That's all. Well, I thought it was because your group members were getting a little jealous. Just, oh yeah, that's it. But you know, I, but you know, that's, you know, that's personal though. I don't ever let the personal stuff like mess up my business. You know what I mean? I can, I can be in a group with you and you can hate me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. I got, we still got money to make. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Like this is business at the end of the day. This ain't, this ain't no personal relationship. It's cool if we all get along, but if we don't, we still, my house still gotta get fed. You know what I mean? So. I, I was sweeping under the rug. You know what I mean. I would be. I would. I would hate too if I was in a group with me. <laughs> I would be upset too this if right I had there with me in the group. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you know I had. I kind of had like already a social media presence and things like that. And the two guys in the group didn't. So I would when when we taking pictures and stuff. Girls would want to take a picture on my side. You know what I mean? They right. would want to. They always would do that. And you know they would kind of hate a little bit. So sometimes I'd be like, Nah, go on that side. And they didn't even like me doing that. They didn't like me doing it. I'm like, I'm just showing up. I mean, up. you can't please nobody, Me right? personally, I really didn't care. The attention was something that just came automatically. I didn't care or strive for it. You know what I mean? But, you know, it is what it is. I feel like we broke the group broke up more so because of the business reasons, because I could have dealt with that. You see how you could say, you know, I could have dealt with the jealousy. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know what I'm saying? You, you're saying that you could have dealt with that, but not everybody has that mentality. Yeah. You know what I mean? And do you think that kind of also played into the management? Um, as well. Yeah, for sure. Definitely. The management w would always like cater to a lot of their little needs so they can feel okay and comfortable. You know what I mean? So sometimes we would be taking photo shoots and he would be like, you know what, uh, Kenny, you get in the middle. And then the photographer would be like, no, we need Michi in the middle because it look better with Michi in the middle. So he would be like, it ain't nothing he can do. You know what I mean? But. <laughs> But he would he would try he would try his hand, but I I never really cared because when I hit the stage, my presence comes out. Exactly. You know what I mean? So that's all I really cared about. I didn't care about pictures. I didn't care about none of that extra stuff. That that ain't putting no money in my pockets. You know what I mean? Going out there performing and doing my thing. That's it. I really I didn't even care about singing all the parts. I didn't care about none of that. I know it's a group. Everybody got their role. You know what I mean? If and I'm, you was willing to play your role. Yeah, that's it. I ain't going to the studio saying. and be like, listen, no, I want to sing this part. I want this part. No, I literally, what y'all want to do? For you to be you know so young, I mean? like, for you to be like young and have yeah. that mentality, that's very mature of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that says a lot about you, you know, yeah, personally. Because I think what, at, fast. at the time you were what, 19? I was like 19, 20. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's really mature of you to have that, that mentality because not everybody yeah. is going to have that. Because... Think about the average 19, 20 year old, uh -huh. you know, yeah. they're in this situation that people, you know, around them are jealous because yeah, yeah. of the shot that they're getting. Most of the time that would have take, I mean, I know if I was not, I was 19 and, uh -huh. you know, I'm around people and you jealous of me, huh, I'm going to blow your head up. It was real, real unfortunate you know? though, because I, I had a good time in the group, you know what I mean? Like right. it was a, we was in artist development for about two years before we even came out to the world, you know what I mean? Like. Dance choreography, vocal lessons, media training. We was in all of this stuff before we even recorded a record. So we had a lot of time to 
not let that outside stuff like hinder our, our relationship. You know but what I mean? So is. yeah, but when it when it came time to perform, they seen the reaction. They like, yo, we all work in the same amount. We should get the same amount of love. You know, that's how people feel. Right. But, um, but the fans like who the fans? Yeah, like, they like you know, what they like. like. It, exactly. Listen, it was a lot of fans. Like I want some chocolate. I want it. You know what I mean? Some <laughs> people like I want the rapper. They want that. You know. Some people like I want the light skin boy. You know what I mean? I never got upset at none of that. You know right. what I mean? But that that also come with me just being very secure in myself. You know what I mean? A lot of people have insecurities too. You know, I'm not saying they did, but that that plays a factor in a lot of, you know, you know, relationships and boy bands and things like that. Absolutely. So with you now being a solo artist, yeah. It looks like a lot of opportunities have happened for you. For sure. 100%. Being, you know, being a solo artist. So what what is the change? What is that transition like for you? For me, it was what I've been waiting for. You know what I mean? Like, I always been a kid. Like, I've been doing this. I've been singing since I was about 13. So, I always viewed myself being like that Michael or Usher or, you know, in that limelight. I never really saw myself in a group anyway. You know, it was just the, the start. It was the start of my career. You know what I mean? So, when it was time for me to go solo, I'm like, okay, bet. Now I just need to really work on how to captivate the whole stage, how to move and, you know, get the audience all by myself. Because when you're in a group, you go that way, you go that way, I go this way. You know what I mean? Right. Now I got to do the whole, get the whole stage, you know what I mean? So that was really it for me. Because everything else, I was already, like, prepared for mentally. You know what I mean? I was really waiting for my shot. And when I got it, took off. How has the response been? Uh, the response been good, you know what I mean? The, the the thing about it is a lot of people didn't know me for my music, you know, when I first put out my, my first major single, right. because prior to that, I had got into that China stuff. So when I put my first song out solo, people like, oh, he, oh, he do this, oh, he do that. Oh, he could sing, dance, and he do, oh, okay. You know what I mean? So the response was, was amazing because now people like, you not just, the guy we thought you was, you're actually a talented individual. So who do you think the public thought you were? Uh, they probably thought I was just a home wrecker, for real. You know what I mean? They probably thought I was a clout chaser, a home wrecker, whatever you call it. You know what I mean? But the thing about it is, in today's society, when people, when when you get your little viral moment or something, right. people don't go and research do the who research. you are. Exactly. You know what I mean? And what you like, how you even got to that moment. They just see what you didn't glow, what you. You know what you get lit for. You know what I mean. But they don't see like, oh, he was already this. He was already signed. He already had a deal. He already was on tour with August Alcina. All this people, this person. They like, they don't do that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So it's like when people say that, I'd be like, what? Cloud? What? I, how you? How you think she wanted to be with me? Because well, I was a broke nigga. It wasn't because I was a broke dude. That ain't why. You know what I mean? So. Right. so People don't do that, you know. They just look and they, they just look, take what they take, take what they got and run with it. You know what I mean? But when I put my first song out like that, I put it out and it hit like a million views. Everything I did, everything independent. Me and my uh, me and my so crazy team, we literally did everything by ourselves and it took off millions of views, millions of streams, and people started being like, "Yo, like, oh, okay, okay, I see, I see you." <laughs> you. You know what I mean? And that's all it. And me, I never have a problem with proving myself. You know what I mean? I've been. That, that, that come with the game. You know, a lot of people, they're going to they gonna relate me to all oh, Chris Brown or this person or this person. But, you know, sometimes you got to prove yourself. And I'm cool with doing that because I'm talented. I, mean, I, I let it speak for itself. So how does that make you feel when people make that correlation between you and Chris Brown? Because I saw that a lot and that was yeah, one of my yeah, questions. Yeah. I get it a lot. You know? <clears throat> I really think it's just because I'm light skin, tattoo, sing, dance, play basketball. But I don't think in a face, I don't think we look like no, no, in no. face. No, I don't think You know what I mean? Because people be like, oh, face. you look just like him. I be like... No, we don't. <laughs> we don't look nothing alike in the face. Like that's different. We got the same uh, talents, and you know, we, you can say, uh, you know, we dance the same. You can say stuff like that, but you can't say we look alike. That's what would be throwing me off a little bit. They be like, you look just like him. I'd be like, no, nah, I don't think we look. No, alike. I think I, I can see why they make the comparison. Yeah, you know I'm what cool saying? with saying like your artistry is like a Chris. I'm cool with people saying that because. Mm -hmm. He's one of the greatest entertainers of all time. You know, you teamed up with your, you know, your so crazy team. Yeah. You um, changed your look. Who helped, yeah. who inspired you to change your look? I just, um, I want to know. Because well, I was doing a, well, before I met um my manager, Corey, I was doing a bunch of crazy stuff. I used to dye my hair different colors, all kinds of stuff. But right. It was that little kid phase, you know what I mean? But uh, my manager, Corey, he, he also a good, um he does a, some good branding, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he kind of just, he cleaned it up. 
just cleaned it up and, and said, you know what, we're not gonna go for the little kid stuff no more. We're gonna make you a little, you know, a little grown and sexy. So he did his, whatever he doing, this little crystal ball of his, you know what I mean? And you know, I just, I just follow the lead. I don't know everything. Just well, shout out to, to Corey back. Love. Yeah, definitely. Shout out to Corey. I like sure. this look on you. I saw it because I, I saw an interview. You had your, um, it was turquoise braid. Yeah, I had blue. Yeah, you they know, was like blue, blue and greenish and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, and I just like this. It's so clean. It's yeah, so yeah. chic. Yeah. You know, yeah. this is this is nice. Yeah, I appreciate this is it. Nice I appreciate for you. it. I like yeah, it. For sure. With you being independent, how is it how is everything able to maneuver for you? Like right now you on MTV's X on the Beach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So shout how did shout that out to Corey for that too? Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Corey, he's in he in the T V world too, so he, right. you know, I got a I got a dope manager. But um really it's just me when I when I went solo, I Corey actually saw me he found me from social media, you know what I mean? And he scooped me up and kind of like started the branding process and, and told me like his visions for, you know, who we think I am as an artist and it kind of matched what I wanted to be. You know what I mean? I wasn't there yet, but it matched who I wanted to be. So we just took the proper steps. You know, I started my own label, So Crazy Entertainment. You know, we just keep everything in-house. You know, we keep everything in-house when it comes to videographers, uh, um, dance choreographers and graphic designers and social media reps and everything. We got everything in-house. It's just literally us. So when we when we put in songs out and stuff like that and it's doing millions of views and all that, it's literally just that little core team, like five, six people just going crazy. You know what I mean? That's really it. Yeah, we just keep it in-house and it, it gets stuff because it's very expensive. Being independent, a lot of people don't know, like, shit is expensive. Right. It's a lot of money, you know, of 15, 20,000 just to clear songs. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, for real. It's, it's tough, but, you know, you make the money back. You make the money back. You tour, you do hosting gigs and things like that. You get on MTV shows. And you know, I'm really excited because I really want to talk about um, That's on the beach, yeah. I, like, get down to the nitty gritty. That's let's the, get down to the yeah, nitty gritty. Sure. Yo. Cause listen, okay, so here's the thing. Let's just talk about X on the Beach. Cause I was one of the ones who were who was not familiar with um, the show at all. Yeah. I wasn't familiar with it. Then I got the um email, okay, look, you interview Michi. I'm like, okay, I'm X on the Beach. Okay, let me let me watch the show. Yeah, you know? Yeah. And it's just watching it's the show messy. for preparation. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like when I watch it, I'm like, oh, damn. <laughs> like yeah. this is this is actually really good. Yeah. You know? So it let's just fun. Break it down, mm -hmm. you know, for those who aren't familiar with X on the Beach. What you want to know? So, it's a group of people. Yeah. They move into a house. Yeah, 10 singles. It started off with 10 singles. 10 and, singles. Uh, then, day by day by day, X is coming. But they don't let the X is coming until the singles mingle. Exactly. You, know I mean? you really got to They let, the ten, low, they let the 10 singles get along with each other and build relationships. Because exactly. you're there to find love. You're there to find your next or rekindle something with your ex. So... And sometimes you don't know which ex is coming. So when in the interviewing process, they ask you like your exes and things like that, but they don't tell you which ones they picking. They never tell you that. So when your ex comes, oh. you like, oh damn, they got in touch with you. So, oh, you know so what I wait, mean? so they're getting in contact with your ex. Yeah, yeah. We don't call. I don't talk. To, I ain't calling my ex like you want no, to do this. No, no. But I'm just saying, like, cause you know how everybody kind of signs up for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you go through that whole signing up process. And they say, well, what X do you want? Yeah, you, they just ask you to name X's. They do their own research and get numbers in. They do it however they do it. You know what wow. I mean? We just give name. We just say a name. And they go. Oh, so they the do reactions research. are real. Oh, for sure. Those <laughs> Yeah, yeah, reactions are real. I mean, you got to think about it. Uh, your ex is your ex for a reason. You exactly. Know, you know what I mean? So even if y'all didn't end on bad terms, you still wouldn't want to be living in a house with that ex. You know what I mean? Unless, like, if y'all was going to rekindle it, y'all could have did it outside the house. Absolutely, but here's the crazy part about the whole situation. You know, you have your ex coming into this house with you, and now you either gotta watch your ex move on, mm -hmm. or your ex gotta watch yeah, you move on. Bad. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's like come it's on. always little feelings in there. It's like always, I blocked you for always, a reason. Yeah, it's always you know? little feelings in there too. You know, you exactly. nobody. You always feel like you always feel like they. They you're still entitled. like that you're they're entitled to you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They still owe you some respect. I seen a lot. A lot of people on the show was like, you know, man. They, they can move on, but you know, you ain't got to kiss them in front of me, you know, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, man, what y'all talking about? You know what I mean? Like, this is a, this is a, all that sentimental stuff can go, you know, but a lot of people, you know, don't be built for that type of stuff. Exactly. You know what I mean? But for me, it was, it was a fun experience until I started to catch real feelings. You know what I mean? Like, I, um, on the show, I catch feelings for somebody. Can't tell you who you got to figure out. But I started to catch wait, feelings for somebody. So I haven't seen that yet. No, I didn't. Okay, so it didn't air yet. I'm like, wait, you yeah, can't yeah, yeah. I can't tell you yet. Who? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I started catch footage for somebody on the show, and um, but my exes show up too. So now, I still got feelings for my exes too. So now it's like I gotta either cut this person off, which isn't fair because I'm single and we can still build, but. I still want to figure out or close a door with my ex. You know what I mean? So the right way, but it's never easy. It's not. It's easy. very messy. I used to think being a player was really easy. Listen, I'm trying to tell you. I used to think being a player was really easy until you had to live in a until house. Until you got to be in a house with all the people. <laughs> it show you like, it's, listen. It's, it's a whole different ball game. It's, it's not like, game. hey, look, I'm gonna call you. You know, Tyrone, listen. Let me let me call you right back. I'm kicking it with me. Yeah, Just you can't. Yeah, you, know you can't, you do, can't that. do that. You know, you just can't. can't. You gotta can't. face. You gotta face the music yeah, in the situation. It, so I respect it, but it's it's super messy, y'all. It's very messy. Yeah, get a little. It get a little. It get a little messy. So let's let's just explore it because when you came into the house, I kind of already knew that you and Kinga were gonna be the two yeah. that that rock that hit it off. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I knew that. Uh-huh. And then it was like a lot of people hey. said that. A lot of people said that. But it was it was obvious. It was yeah, just yeah. an obvious choice. Yeah, like, she's, uh, she's dope. Kill your dope. She got a um. She got this real confident mentality. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 very attractive because I'm confident myself. So when we, when I was in the house and I seen that somebody with my same little like player mentality, same little confident, I'm like, okay. Yeah, but you, you know, know I mean? those type of those type of um attitudes and that type of demeanor when they come head on. Somebody gets sometimes, hurt. Yeah, sometimes. Or, Somebody gets hurt. Or it can be the best thing because y'all both got to understand and then y'all both know what it is. You know, you know well, what I mean? from the show, it looked like Kenya didn't have an understanding. For sure. <laughs> you, ain't only, hey, you ain't never lied. Kenya didn't. didn't have an understanding. Yeah, but this is the thing. I don't know if I don't know if I should fault myself because you got to realize like we just still kind of met. You know what I mean? And no one's entitled to nobody. And we're still here to find love. So... Just, I'm not gonna just settle down and be boyfriend girlfriend with the first person I meet. Absolutely, there's still a bunch of girls to come in and that can be my, that, you know, I can connect with. So, I guess we hit it off, you know, really fast, and we thought like, you know what, we are gonna rock out. But that wasn't my mentality. But see, it, and it you know couldn't have I mean? been her mentality because it wasn't did. her mentality. <laughs> it wasn't. You know what I mean? But you know, Kenya, she a little feisty one. So she, she is. She, and she ain't gonna hold her tongue. So she'll let you know, like, you know what? Okay, uh. You want to move on back? Say no more. You know what I mean? She and then it type. was like... It was funny for me. Like, I'm laughing like, listen, baby, listen. You can move on. Like, it's cool. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because I was trying to have some fun. And then you had fun with Shannon. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then Shannon she had Banana. fun with Anthony. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? That kind of yeah. thing. And then you watched... That was those. wild. I couldn't believe that. Even when it really happened, I couldn't believe it. Because Kenya usually don't go for the, for those type of guys. So... What are those type of huh? guys? He real chill. He real chill oh, okay. shy. You know what I mean? He okay. real he real chill shy guy. You know what I mean? He don't really speak out that much. But she only did it much. to get back at Shannon. To get yeah. back you and yeah, Shannon. At first I didn't know that though. When, but it, when, it happened, when I seen it, like I when y'all seen it, it's the first time I saw that. Okay, got I didn't even know she seen us over there on the couch, and that's the reason why. I didn't even know that. I just seen them going upstairs, and I was like, "Where? Oh shit!" <laughs> I'm like, "All right, well, bet now I ain't got to give you a even conversation. Now I can just keep doing what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Got it. But it was fun, man. It was fun. That was it was messy too, man. The them, whole them emotions and stuff is crazy. The whole situation with Shannon and Anthony. I can't Listen. believe she. Listen, I can't. First off, Shan is a. She's a real. She 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 a savage. I couldn't believe she did that when she first came on on the on the, on the beach. She was like, "I'm here for revenge," and looked straight at me, and I'm like, "I'm gonna give you what you want if if you, you don't look at me." You know what I mean? I'm, this ain't, I'm not gonna play with you. Right. But but she then came she ended up falling back in love with Anthony. But here's the part. No, she that never thought she never was out of love with Anthony. She was in love with him the whole time. But since he cheated on her during their relationship, she wanted to come in and make him feel what she felt. But it didn't work. It they, backfired. No. Trust me. It, it, no. No. They they, they they ain't listen. Listen. They know what they doing. They ain't showing it like they listen. Anthony but her. He was hurt. Oh, Anthony was hurt? Man, that boy was hurt, man. Wait, salty, no, okay, man. so here, here's the that thing. That boy was salty. Here's the thing. They, you know, I, they, 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 you know, it's a lot of, it's 24 hours a day they filming, so they got to sum stuff up. Right. You know what so I mean? So they edit stuff out. Yeah, for sure. So, because it makes Anthony like a straight asshole. And that's just, yeah, that's just probably he, what it is. No, but, I mean, it is what it is, too. Because here's the thing that got me. Shannon was telling Anthony, like, you know, I'm just trying to work on this. I really feel like we need to just... Try and work on it. And he Anthony wanted says, to work on it too. He just was not. Hey, listen. I'm gonna tell you that boy Anthony loved that girl. He loved that girl like for real. So why did they ask him off, to be very 
Look, why we gotta still... we we gotta put two and two together though. If your boy, your ex, come in the house and have sex with somebody else in your face and you see it, are you gonna give them the time of day after that? No. No, I don't want no conversations or nothing. They still was making out, sleeping together. They still was doing their thing. So all that showed me was. You really still want to be with her because you just let her do something to me, to, with me, and you went right back and kissed her. That's so, true. So listen, that you can't sit here and fool me and act like you don't really like her or don't love her no more. That's bull. Because when we was trying to eliminate her, you was like, you know, let's see where it go. You know what I mean? Like, I want to, you know, I figure some stuff head, out. Right. So that's bull crap, you know. But she really is the way that they kind of portrayed her. Like she, she go for what she want, and she, she wanted them back. So but she wasn't gonna give up because of his the way they portray him. It mm -hmm. makes her look crazy. Yeah, that, that's true. You know, but she look, a little crazy, man. It, Shannon it, a little crazy. It, it, man. Look, it makes her look a little. It makes her look like okay, baby. Shannon a little crazy, but she good crazy to me. Yeah, she good crazy. They 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 the way they showed it kind of like didn't really portray it as well as they should have. But right. you know. It's all good. Cause I just I know I bust out laughing when she was like, "Oh, anything I just want to try." Just oh wanna man! Try. And he said, and he, was like, no, "He was like, he was like, yeah, I was like, yeah." But then he would come to us like, uh, at dinner that night they in the bed together. I'm like, come on, come on now, so like, no, but let's let's. We was all this. over their relationship. Everybody I mean, in the house, we all was over. So CNN. is that why y'all voted Anthony out? One hundred percent. I okay. couldn't vote though, cause I ain't got no ex yet in the house, so I ain't been voting. I just been in the back. That I've been influencing they both though. I'm saying that. That is very true. You do not have an ex yeah. pull up off the beach yet. Not so yet. it's like you're just sitting back observing. That's why I was really excited yeah, to do the interview. Because fun. now it's just us observing. Mm -hmm. Here was the crazy the, the triangle. Mm -hmm. Right? Crazy triangle. You have is it Giselle? That's how you pronounce it. Gilles. Gilles. Shannon. Shannon. Anthony. Anthony. Then Gilles hooks up Cameron. Uh huh. Then Cameron's ex. Alexis show up shows up. Yep. And then now as of yesterday, Ariana shows Ariana up. shows up. Yeah. Okay. So Cameron He had got rid of Gilles fast though because he knew his exes was about to show well, up. Well let's 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 before Alexis even arrived. Yeah. Let's talk about the whole I love you. Oh, <laughs> when Cam, when he, t listen, he came in the room and was like, the next morning was like, yo, bruh, she said I love you, like, a lot of times last night. I was like, what you mean? He said, yeah, like, she, like, stopped in the middle of what he was doing and, like, held my face and was like, I love you. And didn't let him keep going until he said it back. But we found out that he said it first. He had told us that, he told all of us, like, that she said it first, but when they rolled them tapes back in the Shack of Secrets, we heard him say, I love you, sir. We was like, oh, he lied. We said, no, he did not say that. He told her, I don't care who said it first. I don't care none of that. You don't, you just, y'all just met first week in the house. You don't say I love you. Right, you don't know her. You don't know her well enough. You know. You love her, but you got rid of her as soon as you ex, you know what? This is a front row seat Man. right here. So everything that's going in the house because once again your ex didn't come yet. Yeah, my so ex you didn't just come got yet. you're just observing everything. Yeah, observing and the and facial expressions that this man gives yeah, to I'd everything has me weak. I'm just like, where beach yet? Yeah, yeah, I'd be dying, man. I'd really be I'd be dying, but all of that gonna come to an end in the next couple episodes. <laughs> well, let's enjoy it while we can. Um, we gotta enjoy it while we can, you yeah, know, definitely. for sure. But I just, last episode with Cameron, when he kind of got caught up, technically. This, I mean, and this is a show where it's like, just be honest, it's, at this point, just own it. That's that what I was doing. Because I just at the you. end of the day, you have an ex that comes in the house. If your ex is not aware of what's going on, Shack of Secrets, mm -hmm. it's going to throw it all out there on yeah. the table. Yeah. You know, like for Cameron, when Alexis came, Mm -hmm. Him and Gilles, you know, their their hookup. Mm. He had Alexis had to watch that. She had I to watch him. They didn't even let her say anything to us before when she came in the house. They took him straight down there. We didn't even get to meet her yet. She walked down and they was like, "Burr, Cameron, you got with Shaggy Secrets." We like, "Dang, we can't even meet her yet." Right. Like we can't hear nothing. They showed everything he did in the house. I was like, "Wow." Now here's what I like about Alexis, because Alexis carried that situation with so much class. <laughs> yeah, but and from what they showed. No, what they she show. did. You even, know what I mean? Even, even, yeah, because the point, me number away. one rule is for a woman, especially in that type of situation, never let her see, let, never let anyone see you sweat. 
Yeah, but I mean, think about it, man. Alexis was very emotional. She was very emotional. She was and, emotional when she was in front of. Cameron. And a lot of a lot of stuff was like. I can't see. I can't say so because I you gotta wait. You gotta watch the rest of the show because that situation with Cameron Alexis. I mean. It's, it's, it's been to get really more messier than what y'all see. what we see. It's but I'm know. just, I'm talking about for Alexis to come into the house. We're not even talking about she, Ariana. Yeah, she handled point. it with She handled she like, it so well. She handled it well. She did. I, I she mean, did. and a she lot of people gave a lot of people, hug. Yeah, but a lot of people can come in and say like, what you doing? Like, you coming in like, kind of be too nice when... Why are you being nice to the person who's sleeping with your dude? You know what I mean? So it can, it can go, but at the moment, they still was messing with it. You know what I mean? He didn't cut her out before she got there. You know what I mean? He waited. So some people can be like, okay, you just too nice sitting back, just letting stuff happen. Or they can be like, you know what? You not dealing with the BS and you just keeping it classy. So it can go both ways. For me, I feel like a lot of stuff you shouldn't, don't let fly. It's that it ain't no sit back. It ain't no sit back. It ain't no, okay, cool. No, no, no. I wish I would come in the house and see my ex did all that. I'm coming in the house and I'm going to have my fun now. You sit back and you sit back and relax. And that's what I felt about Kenya's boyfriend. But, you know, I mean, because the way Kenya, hey girl, the way that she said her boyfriend was, he was big bad coming in the house on Sunday night long. But he's not like that. No, nah, he's a cool And guy. he's a cool, cool guy. Cool guy, very level headed. Yeah. You know, yeah. once again, a good, very mature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You cool know, guy. Positive. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because the way she was explaining, oh yeah, like he's a jealous. That, listen, she would say that even in the house. She'd be like, I, man, I can't wait to ask him in here because we need, I need a real man in the house. And, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. And then he Whatever. comes in and it's just like, he's he so. A lot of people thought that he was going to turn up with me. Why? A lot of people thought he was going to come and turn up with me. With but me, he's but not even that type of person. It would even, from, that would kind of make you look a little bad though. Because for one, she's single. First off, she's single. For two, you would've did the same thing. We all men, you know what I mean? <laughs> we grown, you know what I mean? They didn't show the conversations that men have had. You know, we had conversations where when he came in and he's like, you know, I'm not, uh, I don't feel no type of way about nothing that her, she had came in and did her fun. Okay, cool, you know what I mean? Like, I met her on a TV show too. I know what Kenya do and know what she about. And she's not my girlfriend. So, you know, he was real understanding about it. And that's the way I would've been too, you know what I mean? Right. You, you an ex. So when I come in the house, anything you do, I can't get mad at. What am I getting mad at? I don't know if we're gonna rekindle our stuff. So I can't get mad. But I can be like, I can like say like your character, or I wouldn't think you would do something like that, or you right. like you moving a little. I could say something like that, but I can't get be mad at the guy. Got no you. way. Now let me tell you who else is kind of driving me a little crazy. Aubrey. Let me <laughs> Don't start with me. Listen, every time I see her turn up, I was like, dang, she been around bad boy too much. Yeah. Too much. She just played she, with my boy Mark too, man. She just played with my boy Mark. She went on social media and was like, she was filming and she was watching the episode and it was like, she gave Mark a chance because production said so. I'm like, get the hell out of here. Are you she, serious? She, she yeah, she it's, on, Mark. it's on Instagram. She posted that. I'm like, get the hell, get out of here. She liked Mark. No, she did. So, she liked Mark. And as the show goes on. You are gonna see how much she like Mark. That's why I'm like, I don't like when women go on social media or do certain stuff after like, like to make try to belittle somebody right. after like this is you guys were a thing for real. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, but you'll see, you'll see. And the thing is, the, the crazy part about it, is I didn't like, even think Mark was gonna get her. I know. I, saw I was that. like, not I saying that she's she like that. the best because she's not to me, but. Right. I didn't even think he was going to pull off because Mark is so chill and he just sit back and smile all day. I didn't even think he was going to go for the, the the girl in the house that's just talking all shit and just But he did say he attracted crazy. Yeah, he crazy too and so, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but that, that's a different level of crazy to me. Aubrey's a handful. No, you know she I mean? is and you can see that on, all I can say every Not time I see her turn me. up, every time I see her turn up, I was like, damn, she's been around Diddy too long. That's the only thing I can say. Like, what did bad boy do to you? You know? Listen. Great comment. <laughs> when it comes to Arby, I, I I don't even comment, man. I just let her, I just y'all see for yourself. You see it. Yeah. It's irritating. That's Shout out to the Beyonce of the house, y'all. Yeah, right. <laughs> did you hear what that? Did you hear what they said when they when she said that? They no. was like, they said, hold on, Arby. The the comment said he was like, hold on, Arby. That's not disrespect to Beehive. I was like, yo. 
That's how we felt. The conversation, you did say that. Though. They funny, you know? man. They funny. And another couple that I really find funny is Devin. Devin as a person is funny. Listen, but Devin and Mary? Devin is the funniest, one of the funniest guys I've funniest. ever met. Funny is. One of the funniest guys I've ever but met. But he's so honest. Effortless. And it's only because he's brutally honest. He just tells the truth. Honest. And he, he just say it with his expressions. And it's too funny. It's too funny because everybody on the show, a lot of girls and people thought he's been an a-hole a and saying that, you know, he needs to be more considered. He like, I'm not being somebody that I'm not. This is who I am. I'm going to say what I want to say. And you can see and that. It's too funny, man. And he, you can see that. Real. When you saw him and Mary go on that date, and I he thought they would come back great. I did too. But when he said she was a six, <laughs> he told her he was a, she was a six. And I, me personally, I but he didn't girls call take it a different her way. Not at all. A six. Not at he all. He said to her on a scale from being how close we are being in a relationship to a relationship that is a six. She took it as you called me a six. That's yeah. number one. But what got me was when. He was like, do you want me to tell you that we could really be something? He said, once that's a lie. Here? That's a lie. <laughs> he said, he said, what do you want to hear? You know, I'm going to go off and be in a good relationship and then I, no, that's a lie. I started <laughs> dying laughing, for real. He, and he said, now, so he said, you're at a six. He said, now you're at like a two. <laughs> I said, wow. That boy just funny, man. Now listen, I know some women are probably going to watch this be like, you wrong, because I'm supposed to be holding it down for the yeah. women, for the ladies. No, but, but I mean, listen, but he didn't call her he sis. He didn't call her sis. He didn't call her sis. And he was very women honest. Just, just like, you got to respect the honesty. And just like they said, though, a lot of women just don't want to be put on the scale in no type of way. That You can respect that, too. But I feel like she blew it out of a out of proportion. Out of proportion. For sure. Out of proportion. Because there's no way you cannot understand that. That's that. Billy broke down crying. Last episode. <laughs> oh, my God. Billy, they played too much of the crying. They played too much. They did that on purpose. He really looked like a big baby. It's crazy. But I didn't even know he was crying that much with her. I, see, a lot of this stuff we don't see because they are private conversations. Right. So I'm seeing it just like y'all, and I'm dying laughing like, no. They really got him like, oh, my God. Like, really? And he's so big. So right, like, exactly. To see him crying and stuff like, I feel so alone. It's like. You know what I mean? Like that's what I'm, I'm thinking. Like I'm like, man, you two ain't gonna big to be doing that. But I mean, let the man. He just says it. He says it. He says it. It's cool. Show his emotion. Yeah, he can show his emotion. You know? Ain't nothing wrong with a man crying. I, you know what I, I mean? Ain't nothing wrong not. with it. But it's just no one expected Billy. Right. We just didn't expect, and it's just funny to look at. It's very entertaining to watch. But see, you know who's the 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 shit starter? It's Aubrey. I'm glad you see it. It's Aubrey. Aubrey's the one like, you know, I really don't want to hurt your feelings, but, you know, let me tell Aubrey, you. come and anytime somebody she's say. The, she's the best. Whenever somebody come up to you and say, listen, um, I ain't trying to be messy, but that <laughs> you means being you're messy. being messy. Exactly. Because if you're not, you're just going to not say what you're about to say right now. Exactly. And let the person say it to me, the, whoever said what you're about to say. Nine times out of ten, and Aubrey didn't even hear it. Somebody else told her, and exactly. she wanted to be the one to go and start the stuff. I, I felt like that was a conversation more for Lexi to have mm. with Billy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I felt. But you know, I mean, it brought the man to tears. So it, it's real in this house. Like, shout out to Billy for showing his emotions, man. I wouldn't do it, but. <laughs> <laughs> but um. This no, it's real, man. It's yeah. really emotions in that house, man. You really, the thing about it, people look at it and, and they sum it down to an hour so it make it look like people going crazy over somebody in an hour. When really it's like you in this house with them 24 hours a day. Right. Your average time, like if me and you were to go out on a date, right? We're not going to text all day. I'm not going to see you all day. Right. You know what I mean? We'll talk once on the phone a day or something like that. And then we meet up on Friday and go out. You know what I mean? Right. When you're in that house, you seeing that person every day. So the conversation you would have had two weeks from talking to him, you didn't have all that shit in a day. I know your mom, I know your brothers, I know everything exactly. all in a day. I know your based whole life story they, in a day. Because we're in the house 24 hours with nothing to do but get to know each other. Exactly. All the time in the world. So of course somebody may have sex or fall in love or do something like that in, in like a week or two. Because like, I know ex I know everything about you in this, in, in this little week. I know everything. You know what I mean? So I see how people fall in love on TV shows. I used to look at shows and be like, you really fell in love with this person a day? But exactly. now I see how. 
Me still personally, I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> but I see how. I don't I don't I don't look at people differently for it. I don't be like, oh, why they do no, I see how you game. Y'all booed up all day, y'all kissing all day, y'all having fun all day, going on dates, all in a day. It's like, now we might as well just have sex, only thing left to do. It's the only thing left to do. You are probably the only one in the house whose ex has not hopped on the beach. You had exes come in the house and they exes has washed up on the beach before your ex has. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what ex can we expect? I mean, well. Black China? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> the check, check won't big enough. Def, no, they definitely, they definitely wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't have been able to get her on there. But um, I mean, everybody already knows because they show commercials. They already released the cast. So uh, a girl named Danielle's coming and a girl named Kelly Sweet. Okay. Yeah. So, so those, those are the two exes that show up. What's the What's the past history with you guys? It's no, it's no triangle like Cameron, Alexis, and Ariana, is it? Can't tell you that. You can't. No, I can't tell you. Without um, spoiling it. I mean, without spoiling it, it, it's. I do some juggling. Okay. You, so you, you double the dabble. You, you, know you double I mean? Dutch so, with the two. Do, try not to. But but um, no no no. Prior to the show. Prior to the show, me and Kelly was you know we was friends for about five and a half years. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And we just started to like uh, start to sleep with each other when we both were single. You know what I mean? And then one thing led to another. You know, with that situation. So, uh, was that actual relationship or was it just a situation? Uh, because you know, there's two different things. It's kind of both. Okay. It's kind of both. You know, we travel together. We just, it, it's, you know, sometimes you, it's, you don't have to say what it is to know what it is. You know what I mean? Got it. Then my other ex, we, we talked for, for a couple months. It wasn't nothing too serious. That's the, that's the one that you know I, I intentionally, I, I want, I want to, wanted to make it work with her. Okay. Know? So, but show. We gotta find out. A lot of stuff happens, so. So what is the end result to the show? You leave with whoever you wanna leave with. Whether okay, it, so it could be, you can say, listen, I wanna leave with both of you guys. I wanna leave this, this summer, this beach with both of you guys and figure it out. If the girls are okay with it, you'll leave like this with two girls, Got you it. know what I mean? But if not, which most women ain't going for that, right? you gotta choose who you wanna leave the beach with. Interesting, that's interesting. You gotta find love. So did I, did I find it? Does Michi find love? I can't tell you that. It's a yes or no. Do you find can't love? If I, I can't say that. Because if I say no, you're going to think I ain't talking to nobody or leave nobody on the show. If I say yes, you're going to be sitting right here trying to figure out who I left with on the show. So. No, we got to watch the show to see who you left with. Yeah. But did you fall in love with somebody on the show is what I'm asking. Fall in love is a big, it's deep. No, okay, excuse me. I didn't so fall did in love. So did you walk away I grew feelings. Love? I grew feelings for somebody on the show. Okay. 100%. Okay. Did I fall in love and all that extra stuff? No way. So are you and this person still kicking it to this day? Can't say that. Can't tell you that. No, I can't tell you that. Uh, these non I can't tell you that. Because if I say no, I say no, then you're going to think, I don't, me and that person don't talk, so on the show, something went bad, or, you know? I can't say that. I can't give, I can't spoil it. Okay, we don't it's about to get it. good. It's, it's getting good. So we're going to see more. So much more. Of Michi. Because what, right oh, now, for sure. we get reactions for of sure. Michi. Michi's yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, nah, y'all going to get it. Well, yeah. It's going to turn up. The last, closing out the season is... Michi time. I'm excited for this. For sure. I can't wait. Yeah. It's, it was fun. It was fun. It's gonna be it's gonna be dope. Y'all gonna be like, oh yeah, this is good. Okay. So make sure y'all catch X on the beach. Every X Thursday on MTV at 9 o'clock after Jersey Show. If people wanna keep up with your journey, they yeah. wanna keep up with your love life, mm -hmm. who Meech is kicking it with. Who he falling for, falling in love with. I mean, I know he said that's a reach. Yeah, I keep I keep I my personal life a little bit off social media now. You know, I learned my lesson from prior experiences, so you ain't gonna know who I'm talking to. <laughs> but um, <laughs> nah, all my social media is Michi So Crazy, M B C H I E S O C R A Z Y N. I also want everybody to go get my new single, Wanna Be a Man. Wanna Be a Man. I just put I it actually out. saw the video for that. Yeah, it's and it dope. was really nice. I like yeah, the video. I like the real classy. Back to the comparisons yeah. of you know how you could get the comparisons of Chris Brown. Uh -huh. Like you doing your thing yeah, musically because yeah. I know yeah. we didn't talk about music mm -hmm. at all. But yes, you're yeah. doing your thing it's musically. A, it's it's a good way. It's a good thing to be compared to because he you they compare me to somebody who's doing good. You know what Absolutely. I mean? So it's like I'm cool with. It. But as long as y'all love the music, you know, and appreciating me for my artistry. I'm perfectly fine with it. Did X on the Beach help those numbers? 
Um, Help for sure, for sure, okay. for sure. You know, so, it, good, it, so it, it's it, serving its purpose. Yeah, it's, yeah, for sure. And it was a good experience. I, I feel like I didn't really go into it like thinking about followers and stuff. I wanted to actually get some life experience. You know what I mean? And, and see where I can get from it. Because women was always like a a, a, jug, a juggler mind. Not, I mean, you could say weakness because it it it, it uh, helped me lose focus. You know what I mean? So you could say weakness. But um, going on the show, it have it kind of like put a lot of things in perspective for me. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It helped me kind of grow up uh, grow up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like right. not do certain things to women because I see how it I see how it affect them. You know what I mean? Usually when men when we doing stuff and saying certain stuff through phone and all of this stuff, we don't know how you feeling at home. If you're crying or if you're if that hurts you or you know what I mean? When you're in the house and you seeing people do stuff, you like, dang I used to do that. And look how she is right now. Like she's tore up. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like Nah, I gotta, it, it kind of chilled me out, like, you know what, to just be like, you know what, nah, I'm not even going, I see how just because you be honest with women don't mean it's right, you know Absolutely. what I mean? A lot of people think, man, I ain't, I ain't lie, I don't lie, I didn't tell both of them the truth, I tell them the truth, but it's like, <laughs> yeah, but it's still wrong, because you're right. still juggling two people, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's still wrong, and you know, a lot of times you don't really think like that or see it because you're not, you don't see the effect that it's, that, that's that, causing the other person. Yeah, exactly. So I was able to see that. So I, I see why God sent me on that journey. You know what I mean? Absolutely. To see, like, this is some stuff that you be doing. You know what I mean? So you might want to see it, recognize it, and fix it. You know what I mean? So what is the number one lesson that you're going to take away from this season once everything is over? Uh, just really just, just not just being honest, but, you know, uh, just try to put myself in someone else's shoes. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of times we don't do that. We don't put ourselves in the like the woman's shoes. You know what I mean? Like, if if you said this to me, you know what I mean? If you say, listen, we, listen, I don't wanna be with you, but I wanna keep doing this, so keep, imagine if they say it to you, how you would feel, you know what I mean? Exactly. Sometimes we don't do that. We don't we don't put ourselves in their shoes or, or try to put ourselves to see it from their perspective, you know what I mean? So me, now I just kinda like, Try to just be honest, chill out a little bit, and realize like everything has an effect to it. It's a cause and effect. You know what I mean? And just try to try to just cut back on a lot of things. Not play with a lot of people. Just you know, just chill for real. So that's that's what I took from it. So I you know, I look at things a little different. I I I, I treat women women with a little bit more respect. You know what I mean? You know. So, I, I respect that. I not like how we used to disrespect them, but just so with just they they're. they're they're higher now to me, you know what gotcha. I mean? For sure. So with all the craziness and all the mess that goes on in the house, it's actually lessons being learned. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people learn lessons from, from yeah. Whether it's not to take Michi serious no more, or, <laughs> or whatever the case may be, but everybody learned a lesson. But this group of people, this group, this cast that you guys have is really amazing. Uh, yeah. to see, you know, how everybody is really unfolding, how mm -hmm. everybody gets along with one another. Because yeah. it, it really hasn't been too many discrepancies amongst the cast. It's just always amongst the exes. So that's also a good thing to watch too, you know? Yeah, they ain't gonna be like that for long. Okay, excuse me. All right, so in awesome. order for you to know what's going on and why it's not gonna be like that for long, yeah. you can catch X on the Beach every what? Thursday at 9 p.m. on MTV. Hey, make sure y'all tune in. All right, thank you for so sure. much, Mishi, for joining me today. Oh, ah. Thank you for having me for sure. Absolutely, Dope. absolutely. Thank you. Definitely. All right, y'all, so make sure y'all stay locked and stay tuned. I'm signing off. This your girl, Kay Simone. Lady. It was that game. <laughs> <laughs>